started with opening a window. So to start, we're going to have to call a function called glfwinit. So glfw might need to do some stuff for each platform. They might need to, to set some flags or something. So we'll just tell them to, to set up everything they need to do. While we're initializing at the end, we will also glfw terminate. We'll give that a little compile, make sure that nothing's broken. Cool. So we've now successfully started using glfw. Let's make a glfw window pointer, which we'll call window. We're going to set that equal to glfw create window. This function takes a couple of parameters. It takes a width, so we'll set 800 and a height, 600. It takes a name for the window, so I chat, call it. And it also takes a couple of pointers. I believe this first one is to shared like board type state. And the second one is to the monitor that we would like the window to be opened on. We don't really care about either of those things, so we'll just set them to null. And then what we do care about is if we can't create the window, so if DLFW gives us null back, we would like to print out an error. So std c error, uh, DLFW broke. And then we're going to glfw terminate and we're going to return negative one. So we're going to return negative one to indicate to the operating system that our program uh, crashed. It didn't successfully succeed. Let's also do our cleanup. So I believe that is, it's glfw, just dry window. 